Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits and continuity. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us let f r r be a continuous function, means the function is in x y plane, and that is given to us as f of three x minus f of x is equal to x. So we have been given this function and we have been told if f of 8 is equal to 7, then what is the value of f of 14? So we need to find the value of f of 14 here. Let's solve this expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given for this question here, it is option A for option B 10, C 11 and the last option given to us here is 16. So we need to figure out the correct answer for this question of finding f of 14. Let's do that. So let's see how to solve this question further. So I have my function defined f of 3x minus f of x is equal to x. Now when I want to find the value of f of 14 and f of 8 is given to us here, I understand that there is a relation between these two functions given 3x and x, right? So instead of x, if I replace this with x by 3 and put that in this equation, I get this turning out to become. So instead of x, we are putting everywhere x by 3. So it becomes f of 3 into x by 3, that is f of x minus f of x by 3 is equal to x by 3. Now, instead of x by 3, if I substitute that as x by 9, which is nothing but x by 3 square. So your entire function changes to become f of x by 3 minus f of x by 3 square. That is equal to x by 3 square. Further, if I convert x by 3 square and instead of that, if I write x by 3 cube, it becomes f of x by 3 square minus f of x by 3 cube is equal to x by 3. So that's our values. Simultaneously, if we go on doing this till putting x by 3 raised to n minus 1 instead of that, if I put x by 3 raised to n, my function f of x, if I write it, it becomes x of upon 3 raised to n minus 1 minus f of x upon 3 raised to n is equal to x upon 3 raised to n. Now when I mark this equation separately, let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till n. So all these n equations, if I add them all, so adding all these equations, what I get here is, f of if you see if you add all of these ideas if you are adding your left hand sides f of 3x minus f of x plus f of x minus f of x by 3 so this and this is same with different signs so this cancels this cancels this cancels all of these terms in between would cancel except the last term and the first term so you are left with f of 3x minus f of x over 3 raised to n. That is equal to, you get x plus x by 3 plus x by 3 square, x by 3 cube. Likewise, till x upon 3 raised to n minus 1 and x upon 3. Now if I take x common, I'm left with 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 cube till 1 upon 3 raised to n. Now when I see this sequence, I understand you are dividing every term by 1 by 3. So it's a geometric progression with infinite terms. So when it is a geometric progression with infinite terms, we already know sum of terms in this sequence up till infinity is given upon a upon 1 minus r 
where A is your first term, R is the common ratio you have, that is second term upon first term. So 1 by 3 upon 1. So you get sum of infinite terms turning out to become 1 upon 1 minus 1 third, that is 1 upon 2 third, that is 3 by 3. And also if you see X is present here outside, so if I write my new fraction here, I get f of 3x minus f of x upon 3 raised to n. That is equal to x into 3 by 2. Now if I apply limits here, where n tends to infinity, because for this, we know n will go till infinite term. So if I do that, I get this as it is f of 3x. Minus here, if I put that 3 raised to infinity in the denominator would make that infinite, and when it that goes into the numerator, it becomes 0. So it becomes f of 0 actually is equal to px by so you have this entire thing. Now we have been given f of 8 is 7. So to get f of 8, what I can do here is I can put x as 8 by 3. So if I substitute x as 8 by 3. I get that as f of 8 minus f of 0 is equal to 3 into 3 by 2 into 8 by 2. So you get that as 4. f of 8 was already given to us. That was 7. So if I substitute, I get f of 0 as 3. Now once I have f of 0 as 3, I substitute x as 14 by 3. So I get that as f of 14 minus f of 0 is equal to 3 into 14 by 3. So you get this is 21 and f of 14 with that turns out to be 21 plus f of 0 with it. That matters with answer 24. And if you see here, you are putting x as 14 by 3. So you should actually put here 14 by 3 not just 14. So this answer would change. 14 by 3, 3, 3 answers, 7 you get. 7 plus 3 your answer becomes 10, not 20. So you get the correct answer for the question as 10 and if you see the option that matches here with the question as question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of limits, applying the concepts of functions. So we replaced x with x by 3, x by 3 square, x by 3 cube, generating a geometric progression with infinite terms. We applied the formula for sum of that and we got this f of 3x minus f of 0 as 3x by 2. We then put x as 8 by 3 to get f of 0 and then we put x as 14 by 3 to get f of 3. That matches as option B. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we're going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as JWE names. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share those videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. Thank you.